Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good, good evening. evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Nice. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Very well. Very well. L waiting and ready to start the class. Nice. Nice. Wait, wait, let's wait a little bit, okay? Let's wait for the other ones, maybe two more minutes, okay? For the other ones, and then we continue, okay? Hello, Mr. Carlos. Welcome, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. good evening, Mr. How are you? Hi, fine. Nice, nice. Nice. You? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm good, good, good. Ready. Ready to start. Just let's wait a little bit for the other ones. Okay, maybe they join. Vamos a esperar. Un minutito más, so tal vez se unan los demás, okay, so yes. One more minute. Hello, Mr. Julio, welcome. I don't know, nobody asked for permission today. Oh. I don't know what is happening. Okay. So we are going to start because it's already three minutes. So we already waited a lot. Okay, thank you for being here on time, everybody. So today we're going to continue with English for World Program Basic Module Number Three. My name, one more time, as you know, is Lisa Rosmen Brado Martinez. And today it is Wednesday, December 7, 2022, right? And um, so we are going to continue. And today we're going to with unit number three, communication at the workplace, okay? And uh, we are going to uh, work. And uh, today we are going to do a little bit of writing and also uh, practice vocabulary, writing, and grammar. Vamos a practicar un poco de todo el día de ahora. Why? Because we are going to write an email. Vamos a escribir un correo. So we are going to do that today, okay? And also, we are going to use everything that we have learned so far. Vamos a practicar lo que hemos um, aprendido lo, los días previos, like el should, el could, el shouldn't, el would you mind, okay? Many more things, okay, that we have learned. And, but let's start with an advice. 
So what are you going to do? So we have to give an advice to the class so we can remember. But I was thinking that maybe we can give an advice. Uh, vamos a practicarlo el día de ayer, ¿verdad? Que estamos dando un consejo a nuestros compañeros. But I think right now we are going to give an advice, but it would be for one of uh, the presidents, maybe, I mean, I don't know if the president or the major or the, pues vamos a dar un consejo, ya sea al presidente, al alcalde, o a, a quién más le podemos dar un, un, un consejo? To the boss, no, to the boss we already, already give, like this, look, you're going to give an advice like this. Maybe it's from your mayor, the major, okay, major is alcalde, okay? The mayor should, should, help i'm sorry we help poor people okay or maybe the major shouldn't hmm, spend too much money okay or maybe you can write the president okay should hmm what could be one advice to the president that you could give one advice. Un consejo que le darían el president. What could be? I what? Clean the house, the, the, the streets. Should, should clean. The streets, maybe. The streets. So just a, a thought, right? Another advice that you can give to the major or to the president. No sé, algún otro consejo que ustedes quieran darle, ya sea al major, que recuerden que es el alcalde, or to the um, um, presidente. Mm -hmm. One advice, you guys. The majors mm -hmm. should decorate. Should. Ah, the mayor should decorate, okay. Decorate. decorate, okay, very good. Anything else? Uh -huh. What about the other ones? What do you think? Repair For the example. streets. Ah, the mayor should repair the streets. Excellent. Anything else? The mayor show work for town. The mayor should work for the town. Excellent. Uh -huh. Anything else? The president show war for the country. Exactly. The president should work for the country. Uh -huh. And the other ones, what happened? Welcome, Miss Blanca. Welcome, welcome, Miss. Mr. Juan Ezequiel, Miss Jenny, Miss Diana. Thank you, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so help me. ¿Qué pueden hacer el major? Recuerden que es utilizando el should o el shouldn't. Uh -huh. The president shouldn't mm -hmm. war for rich people. Ah, the president shouldn't work for rich. Uy. 
rich people. Excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. What about the other ones? Carlos, Argueta, eh, Julio, mm -hmm. Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. The president shouldn't start a war. Ah, a war. start a war. Exactly. Excellent job. Thank you, mister. Yes. The mayor should listen the opinion. Definitely right. Should listen to the opinions. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay. What? Anything else? The president show uh, show uh, relationship uh, to. Uh, to other country. Ah, to expand maybe? To expand the relationships? Re expandir, maybe? Uh, relationship uh, with other countries. Oh, perfect. Thank you, mister. Very good, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Okay, what about the other ones? I don't know about Jenny's. Diana, hello, welcome. Christian, Claudia, Clelia, welcome. Karen, Nilton. Okay, help me with the ideas with uh, like, uh, what advice? Un, un consejo que le darían a president or major? Okay, using should or shouldn't, okay? The president mm -hmm. should start. Uh -huh. uh -huh. to los chorros strip. <laughs> okay, in the chorros street. <laughs> Thank you, Mister. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Wow, those are some awesome ideas, you guys. Oh, okay, Mister Juan Ezequiel. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so oyente. Okay, so perfect. So these are some advices with the topic that we were studying yesterday, right? That it was about should and shouldn't, right? Now, uh, we are going to continue. And with the next activity that I have for you, okay, we are going to practice a little bit of, um, give me one second so you can see the presentation. So we are going to start and practice, okay, with, uh, the alphabet, okay, how are we going to do it? So we are going to see a letter, okay? And um, you are going to tell me one word related with that letter. Just give me one second so I can go and practice a little bit, okay? Give me one second. I can go with the, the little game. Just give me one second. Can you see the game, everybody? Yes, ready. Okay, yes. perfect, thank you. Okay, so let's start with uh, Miss Adriana Garcia. Miss Adriana, tell me one number, please. Number six. Number six, okay. So, Kami, okay, so you have to tell me one word with the letter Z. C is for C. One word with the letter C. Color. Le a word. Any word. Cualquier palabra. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Cualquier palabra con la letra C. Mm. ¿Te puedes ver ahorita lo que aparece ahí en la pantalla? 
for example, C is for cut or maybe for cook. Anywhere, cualquier palabra. Cualquiera. Anything. Mm. Cut. Cut. <laughs> cut. <laughs> cut. Sí. Like the animal? Sí. Oh, perfect, Miss Adriana. Thank you. Okay, let's go next one. Help me, please, Mr. Rodrigo. One letter, please. Uh, number one. Number one. Okay, P, mister. Tell me one word with the letter P. Father. No, because it's with F, father. Ah, uh, excuse me. No problem. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, policeman. Mm, very good. Excellent, miss. Thank you. Let's go next one. Miss Blanca, tell me one letter, miss. One letter, one number, sorry. Three. I'm sorry? Three. 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 Okay. Oh, another three. number, miss. No points. Uh-huh. Um, nine. Nine, okay. T. Tell me one word with T. Tomato. Yes, perfect. Tomato, excellent. Let's go next one. Help me please with the next number, Mr. Nilton. Uh, 10. 10, okay. Oh no, another number, please. Uh, eight. Eight, okay. Okay, tell me one word with the letter G. Mm, G. Uh, garbage. Yes, very good, mister. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's go, Carlos Argueta. One number, please, mister. Seven. Se oh, seven, okay, X, mister. Xylophone. Ah, xylophone. Ah, xylophone. Uh, xylophone. Silaxophone. Silaxophone. Uh -huh. Silaxophone. Oh, difficult word. Thank you. It's a very good. Let's go. Next one. Help me, Karen. Tell me one number, please. Five. Five. Okay. Tell me one word with the letter F, Miss, please. Family. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Julio. Tell me one number, please. 14. 14. Okay, tell me one word with the letter D. Dad. Dad, excellent. Thank you. It would be next one. Uh, please, please. Carlos Miguel, one number, please. I want a number two. Two, okay. N. Tell me one word with the letter N. Number, name, nine. Very good. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Christian Elias. Mr., tell me. Uh, 12. 12, okay. Oh, another number, mister, please. Um, four. Four, okay. Tell me one word with the letter R, mister. Uh, R. R, R. R. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. Uh huh. Rose. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. Uh huh. Or does somebody knows wants to help, um, Mister no. Christian? Uh huh. Um, I don't know. What about the other ones? Alguien que quiera ayudar a, a Mr. Christian con una palabra con la letra R, please? Rabbit. Really? Really? 
Read. Right. Right. Rose. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Rose. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's go now. <laughs> no problem, mister. We are going with Jorge Luis. Tell me one number, please, mister. Um, 13. Okay. Tell me one word with the letter B, Mr. Please. B and um, baby. Yes, excellent. Thank you. Let's go, Miss Claudia. Tell me one number, please. Hello. Hello, huh? Miss. Um, um, ver. Mm -hmm. um, um, el. Quince. In English, how do you say quince? Do you remember? Oh, I don't remember. No. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh -huh. Fifteen. W. Tell me one word with the letter W. Okay. Um. Windows. Oh, very good, Miss. Thank you. Excellent job. Let's go next one. Can you help me, um, please, Miss Clelia? Uh, 16. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Tell me one word with the letter Z. Uh, size. Oh, very good. Size, you said, right? Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Miss. That was a good job, everybody. Thank you for practicing with me this activity. That was so good. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do a tenant section. Okay. Ahora sí, vamos a continuar y vamos a hacer sección de asistencia. Just give me one second, please, so we can take all, do it. Okay. So please say presente. Okay. So let's start. Adriana Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Anna Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Como me dijo Miss, que usted me envió. I was like Blanca Luz. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. I am present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Present. Thank you. Cristian Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Estela. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Diana Noemi. Present. Present. Thank you. Edwin Roberto. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Luis. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Dimas. Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you. Karen Estefanía. Present. Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Ru Rebeca. Present teacher. Serafín Constanza. Present teacher. Thank you. We sorry, wait, 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 wait. Maria Jamilet. Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Veronica. Marlene Oneida. Juan Ezequiel. Present. Oh, thank you, Miss. Eh, Juan Ezequiel. He's present. And yeah, I know, Mr. You're oyente right now. Perfect. Thank you, David Emanuel. Yes, I heard you, Mr. Si lo escuché, Mr. David Emanuel. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, everybody, for doing the attendance section with me. Gracias a todos por hacer la sección de asistencia conmigo. Okay, so now, as, as I said at the beginning of the class, como les mencionaba al inicio de la clase, el día de ahora vamos a hacer un poco de práctica en escritura. So, uh, how is this? ¿Cómo es esto? So, you are going to learn how to write a 
an email, ok, van a, a vamos a aprender cómo eh, escribir un email, ok, because you know that they are so, so important, ok, ustedes saben que son muy importantes, so we are going to learn how to do that, just give me one second, please, so I can go to the page of the manual, because, wait a second, please. One second. Wait. Okay, so the first activity that we have here is that it says, listen, it says, let's start. I have a question for you. Do you send emails every day? Do you? Yes or no? Because for yes. example, for me, yes, yes. always. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, what about the other ones? ¿Y los demás? Do you send emails? Yes. Yes, it yes? always. Yes, it okay. yes, every day. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, and now I have another question. Do you send brief or long emails? Envían correos brief, que son pequeños, o son así como super reducidos, o en resumen, or they are long emails. Uh, I send emails be brief. Brief, okay, brief emails, okay. Brief. Small, small emails, small. Okay, so this is. is uh, much, o sea, bastantes. Okay, so si es bastante, sería cortos. long, long. Cortos. Ah, so corto sería brief. Brief pero emails. muchos, pero muchos, cortos, okay. pero muchos. Okay, so it will be brief emails, but a lot of emails. Okay, perfect, mister, thank you. Okay, any other ones that wants to share? Long email. Oh, long emails, very good. Uh -huh. Can you tell me some techniques that you take into account when you write an email? Me podrían mencionar algunas técnicas or tips to write effective emails? What are some tips that you can mention to me? Um, I write, I write uh, emails to clear and direct. Oh, clear and direct. Excellent. That's a good one, mister. Mm -hmm. No das muchas cuentas. Uh -huh. No, oh, continue. <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to ah, say okay. that you have to be direct. Lo mismo que dijo el mister. Yeah. Tell ah, me, okay. mister. Mm -hmm. um, it's necessary to be uh, polite. Oh, polite. Always right. Good morning. Thank you. Right. That was good. 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 Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anything else? ¿Cómo tiene que escribir no, eso? No sé cómo se dice. Oh, ¿Huh? No sé cómo se dice. Versatile. Personalizado. Personalize. Personalize. Ajá, personalize o versatile, que puede ser cambiado, pero mm, versatile. Maybe it's uh, about um, start to greeting and and final to goodbye. Oh, greetings. Uh huh. Greetings. greetings. Uh -huh. Yes. Greetings and farewells. Farewells. Con saludos y despedida, ¿verdad? Greetings and farewells. Very good. Definitely, you have to use that, right? Recuerden que debemos de ser polite, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que decir hello, good morning, or good morning, okay? And like that, right? Now, here it says, here we have a little bit of a list of important tips that we can use sure. when writing a formal email. Okay, and I want you to tell me which ones do you follow? ¿Cuáles de esos tips ustedes eh, su, um, utilizan? Okay, when writing a look, formal, 
formal meals, porque recuerden que hay formal o informal meals, right? Because, for example, for me, I text to my boss, por ejemplo, en mi caso, yo escribo a mi jefe un correo y también les escribo a mis compañeros de trabajo, tal vez algo compartiendo alguna información, ¿verdad? And no, tal vez a veces no son muy formal, right? They are informal. But formal, for the formals, what do you use para los formales? ¿Qué cosas de estas utiliza? Do not use mm. abbreviation. Oh, do not use abbreviation, definitely. Uh -huh. eh, miss, y en este caso no estaría la es, eh, right, uh -huh. eh, orthographic. Ah, pero, ¿Y la like ortografía? pero como qué cosas, mister? Eh, escribir correctamente con orto, sin errores de ortografía. So, puntuation. Uh, okay, uh, no, está ahí, eh. no, no, no. Cuidar la ortografía. Ok. Eh, it would be pun correct punctuation. Correct punctuation and grammar. Very good. Thank you. No problem, mister. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Anything else? Okay, capitals. Do you know what are capitals? ¿Se acuerdan qué es capitals? Mayúscula. Uh, Mayúscula. Isa, Isa con, da a entender como que es, um, como que se le está gritando el mensaje. No, pero, pero, no, pero, pero es que en general creo que lo muestra. Exactamente, exactamente. Sí, o sea, ahí cuando se empieza una oración, se pone ajá, el nom nombre, nombre propio con mayúsculas. Exactamente, ajá, exacto. Okay. Sí, pero si okay. la ponen así como que importan y, y en Todo. capital no, ¿verdad? Exacto, es como oh. que le grite al, al remitente. Exactly, so do not do that. Al destinatario, perdón, al destinatario. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly, no okay. problem, mister. Destinity. Ajá, uh -huh. destination. destination. Formal salut salutation. Ah, use a formal salutation. And, oh, no. Be brief, be brief. Mm, definitely. Be brief. ¿Cuál es la otra forma de salutation that we have in English? Do you remember? I told uh, you. Writing. Greeting. Yes, very good. Or, saludo, eh, despedida sería farewells, ok? Farewells. Ok. And be brief, ok? Sé eh, corto, ajá. Uh -huh. What else? Express clearly why you are writing. Exactly, express clearly what are you writing, ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, do not use smileys. Uh, ah. Creo que habla de emojis. Exactly. <laughs> smileys es cuando ponen una carita sonriente, dos puntos. ¿Ves? Esto es, miren. Eso no. Or emojis. Do not use emojis in a formal, right? Sarcastic. <laughs> no, exactly. If you write one of these, si escribimos uno de esos, es como que you're being sarcastic. Sí, está siendo sarcástico de acuerdo ¿verdad? con lo de que estás escribiendo. So, do not do it. Eso no lo vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Ok, now. I'm going to show you some more uh, tips, ¿ok? Les voy a mostrar algunos tips more para que escribamos un email porque vamos a hacerlo después y lo vamos a enviar a nuestro compañero. Ok. So, when you're uh, writing a formal letter or email, cuando estamos escribiendo un eh, correo formal o una carta o un... Sí, una carta sería. Uh, so, here we are going to do some things and we are going to take into account. Le voy a mostrar varias cosas que creo que no las han estudiado. Por ejemplo, cómo decir un correo. I don't know. Do you know how to say arroba in English? That. No. Ese es punto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, es cierto. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's at. Okay. So, first of all, we have here, look. We have at, que es el, el arroba, se dice at. Okay. Let me change this one. Yes. Then, el punto se dice dot. Pero esto solo, recordemos que va a ser solo en el correo, chicos. Okay. And websites, websites. And websites. Thank you, Mister. And okay. websites, o sea, las páginas así de Google sería www.google.com, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque para todo lo de networking, como el Mister estaba diciendo, todo lo de networking, o sea, todo lo que tenga que ver con internet, vamos a decir cómo se dice el punto en inglés. Everybody. That. That. Ok, Entonces, en arroba, how do you say arroba en inglés, everybody? At. 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 Uh -huh. At. Yo lo puedo estar chequeando. See if you are 
paying attention. Okay, another thing, otra cosa muy importante in the emails, okay, is that you have sometimes in the email directions or addresses, you have underscore, underscore es la barrita que va abajo. Ok, y cuando tenemos correos normales está también el, así vea, el de que va en medio se llama hyphen, ok, hyphen. So, for example, here we have this one, this email. Can you help me to read this email, please? Uh, I reservation okay. at beachorelburn.com. Excellent, thank you, mister. And uh, thank you, Le ah, se ya la para esta. No, that's not good. Next one, can you help me to read the next one that we have over here, please, volunteer? One volunteer. Okay, thank you, David Emanuel. <laughs> no te escucho, pero, uh -huh. yes, right now, tell me, David Emanuel. Uh -huh. This teaching underscore job at English mm -hmm. underscore academy. Uh, dot id aha uh -huh. excellent mixer thank you and yes you have you also have it there and recording your normal se dice hyphen okay now give me one second okay what i want you to do right now is that i want you to i am going to ask you oh my goodness wait I want you to tell me your email, okay? Can you tell me what is what is your email address, please, Mr. Uh -huh. Mr. Nilton, can you tell me what is your email address, please? Okay, uh, my email address is nilton.vasquez at gmail.com. Excellent, thank you. What about you, Miss Clelia? What is your email address, Miss? Uh, it's Clelia Estela uh, at Yahoo. No. So it will be at. At. At, uh -huh. at Yahoo.com. Excellent, thank you, Miss. Very good. Let's see, Miss Diana. What is your email address, Miss? My email is Diana Guerrero. Mm -hmm. at Gmail. That. That. Come. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Very good. What about you, Mr. Julio? What is your email address? Aguillon two nine one two eight nine at gmail dot com. Excellent. Thank you. Miss Janice, can you tell me your email address, please? Miss, I cannot hear you. No la escuchamos, Miss. My address email uh -huh. is janice.vasquez at gmail.com. Exactly. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Excellent. Karen, can you tell me your email address? Email, email address, uh -huh. Karen Dax Perez DN24 at Gmail. Dax com. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. I can see that you identify now how to say your email address. Perfect. Okay, let's go with next one. And now, as you know, we have formal and informal mails, right? Como ustedes saben, tenemos correos formales e informales, como les mencionaba anteriormente. So here we have a little bit of a definition for formal and informal mails, okay? And can you help me to read, please, the this definition? Um, let's go ahead with Jorge Luis. Can you help me to read, we write formal emails, please? Okay. We write a formal email when we want to be polite mm -hmm. or when we don't know, know the reader very well. A lot of work emails are formal. Exactly, thank you. And we write the inf informal mails. Help me to read, please, Miss Blanca. 
Um, we write informal email when we want to be friendly or when we know that really well. A lot of social email are informal. Here are some examples of formal and informal messages. Thank you. Okay, so remember, the formal, you are very polite, okay? And you don't know the reader, okay? Cuando escribimos un correo, I mean, formal, es muy educado. ¿Por qué? Porque no conocemos muy bien a esa persona, ¿verdad? And the informal emails, it's friendly, es amigable, ¿verdad? Siempre. And we know the reader very well. Y eh, si conocemos al, que, al lector, ¿verdad? Um, muy bien. And here we are going to see some examples of uh, the emails, okay? So the different types, okay? Aquí tenemos los diferentes types of formal mails or emails, okay? And uh, can you help me to read, please, Carlos Miguel, with the formal emails? Uh, formal um, email to a customer's a job application, an um, email to your manager, a uh, complaint to a shop, an email from one company to another company. Excellent, very good, Mr. Thank you. So yeah, that those are basically the types of formal emails that you can do. And then we have the informal emails, it can be you don't do that much, but we can do it. Can you help me to read, Miss Claudia? Okay. Mm -hmm. Every day, mm -hmm. uh, greeting to a. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice la siguiente palabra, Miss? Um, colleague. Colleague. Uh -huh. um, email to a colleague mm -hmm. who is. Also, a good friend. Yes. A social invitation, invitation, sería, ¿verdad? Uh, invitation, yeah. To a friend at your workplace, an email with a link to a funny. YouTube, uh -huh. YouTube uh -huh. clip, uh -huh. a messenger to oh. a friend on a so social uh -huh. net. Network site. Networking site. Excellent. So, yeah, so these are the basically the different types of mails that you can do, right? Estos son los diferentes tipos de correos que podemos hacer. Pueden ser formales, que diciendo, por ejemplo, una aplicación de trabajo, no van a escribir, solo van a mandar el currículum, ¿verdad? No, tienen que decir, I am applying for this type of uh, eh, like position. Ya, pues ahí dice, me yo aplico para este tipo de, para la posición de, I don't know, like manager o lo que sea, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué sería formal? Y el informal es como invitando a alguien o le mandan una foto, ¿verdad? O una invitación ahí virtual por el correo. O, I don't know, like links, ¿ok? O, there are many things that we can do online now, nowadays. Y hay muchas cosas que podemos hacer que tienen que ser enviadas por correo para que no pierdan resolución, ¿verdad? So, very good. Now, there is something very important, and it's the layout and the punctuation, okay? Um, ¿Qué sería? ¿Cómo iniciamos un correo, okay? Y ¿cómo finalizamos un correo? Y es muy importante también, recuerden la puntuación. Yo sé que ustedes saben todo eso, but we are going to review it, okay? Pero lo vamos a repasar in English because it's not the same, right? So, it is studying an email. Can you help me to read studying an email? Please, uh, volunteer, Ana Marleni. I don't know if you can participate now. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, starting an email. We normally write a comma after the opening phrases. Mm -hmm. We start a new line after the name of the person we're writing to. Exactly, very good. So, always that you uh, start an email, siempre que iniciamos un correo, ¿verdad? en la primera frase, después de la primera frase, we have to write a coma, right? 
And also every time um, we start the email, I don't know if you do it, but I do it. No sé si ustedes lo hacen, pero cuando yo inicio un correo, I always say, good morning, miss, da, 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 okay? You, I, 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 I said like this, good morning, Miss, I don't know, Miss Hernandez, like for example, let's say. And then I write a coma, y después una coma, ¿verdad? después del nombre. En mi caso, because I always use Miss or Mister, okay, or Lick, or Licenciada, right, depending, right, or what it is. No sé si ustedes lo hacen. You do it, yes, no? Because I do it all the time. I don't know if it is appropriate, but yes. that is. Yes, right, you have to use it. Tienen que como, para que sea un poco más formal, utilizar un nombre. Then, when finishing an email, cuando terminamos un email, can you help me to read, please, Serafín? So, Serafín, Hi. yes, can you help me to read that section, please? Okay. Finish it. Finishing in email, we normally write a comma after the closing phrase. We start a new line to write our name at the end. At the end. Exactly. So when we finish, we wrote, well, obviously, right? Eh, cuando terminamos ya el correo, lo que hacemos es que escribimos una, una frase. Ya concluyendo, vea lo que necesitamos, o que o estamos solicitando, o estamos comunicando. And also, we have to write, like, the name, right? Tenemos que escribir nuestro nombre. Like, for example, for me, I uh, always do it like this. Es lo mismo en inglés y en español, ok? Atentamente, you say ATT, eh, que en inglés sería attentively. Okay, and then I write Rosemary, because I write my name, I don't use Miss Alvarado, I use this one, Alvarado, okay? That's what I do, okay? And, or there are some other phrases que ya vamos a ver en unos segundos, hay otras frases, por ejemplo, como, no sé si las han visto, sincerely, okay? Or sincerely Rosemary Alvarado, or cuando conozco a alguien, puede ser, eh, Oh my goodness, I solo me acuerdo de with love, but I don't want to write with love. Um, okay, to my friends, with love, okay? Rosemary Alvarado, okay? Hay otras frases, we are going to say them in a bit, las vamos a ver en unos segundos, okay? Que pueden utilizar en formal e informal, okay? So here we have some puntuation again. So we have a little bit of uh, practice. Aquí tenemos un poquito, miren, de cómo podemos escribirlo en el formal. Mire, dear, ok. O pueden escribir, como les decía, Miss or Mister, good morning, Miss or Mister. Esto de dear, it's like querida o. Um, estimado. Ah, estimado, thank you, Mister. I was thinking in Spanish, pero se me fue. Pero ya, yeah, estimado, dear, ok. And then you write the name y después escriben el nombre. Claro, ustedes, pues. Me imagino que no utilizamos lo del Miss y Mister con sus, sus jefes, pero sí licenciado, licenciada o supervisor, encargado. Many titles. Ustedes saben los titles que tienen con sus bases. And then, y después empezamos a explicar lo que sucede, ¿verdad? And then, y después tenemos acá, miren, esta es la, la frase que yo les digo que podemos utilizar. Best with Best wishes, con los mejores deseos, y después escriben su nombre. And in the informal, y en cambio en el informal, pues solo decimos, hi, team, and then we say, y hay otras frases que podemos utilizar, like cheers, eh, que es como saludos, ¿ok? Can you help me to write the formal read, the, I mean, email, please? Let's see, help me to read... Um, Cloud, I mean, no, 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 wait, help me, please, Carlos Argueta. Hey, dear Mr. Piper, I am willing to thank you for all your help. I look forward to seeing you next week with best wishes, John Smith. Exactly, thank you. And then formal, can you help me to write, um, to read, sorry, Miss, I want a girl. Madeline, please. 
Hi, Ian. Many thanks for your help. See you next week. Yes. Cheers. John. Cheers, John. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss. Excellent. So, yes, there we have it, right? Y pues podemos notar muy, muy bien la diferencia. Y es muy importante eso de la coma. Right? So we can differentiate the ideas. Para que podamos identificar las diferentes ideas. Okay? Let's go ahead and some words that you can use. Y aquí están las frases que les comentaba que pueden utilizar para empezar y terminar. And here we have, for example, to start uh, the email para empezar el, el correo. Podemos decir, dear, dear, li... bueno, mister. Ahorita vamos a utilizar mis o mister, ¿verdad? porque es, it's for us. Dear, mister, mister, uh, Argueta. Dear, sir, dear, madam. Ah. Cuando no sabemos los nombres de estas personas a quienes les estamos mandando el correo, entonces vamos a utilizar esto. En English, this is what we use. Sir and madam. ¿Ok? This is very common. Es muy común. ¿Ok? To end, para finalizar, podemos decir yours sincerely, yours faithfully, yours truly. Um, and yeah. ¿Ok? Informal. It would be uh, hi in the name, right? Hi there in the name. Morning, afternoon, evening, team. Pero no utilicen el good si se dan cuenta. Solo morning, afternoon, evening, team. Or hello Teacher, again. Yes. One question. Tell um, me. Uh, there, there, sir, or madame. Uh -huh. eh, y, dear, dear. y si no sabemos si es dear, ajá, si no es hombre o mujer Vaya, que por ejemplo hombre, ah, la, la, la frase se dice a quien interese ah, vaya, pero eso es otra frase mister. eso se dice to whom ya lo voy a escribir to whom it may may concern pero a quien interese se dice así básicamente, a quien interese pero esto va primero mister Dear, sir, or madam. Y después va esto de to who is my concern. ¿A quién interese? Vaya, sir. Sir es hombre, mister. ¿Ok? Y madam es mujer. Que sería como señora. Querida, querida señora. I will be, o querido señor. O, Ay, el mister dijo la palabra en Spanish, mister. ¿Cuál era? Estimado. Estimado, estimado. estimado señor o estimada señora. O, vaya, pero no es exactamente señora ni señor. Ok, a veces es eh, like caballero o dama. Ok, básicamente caballero o dama. Yes. Yes. Masculino o femenino. Ponemos, por ejemplo, estimado y entre paréntesis la A para que sepa si es estimado o estimada. Mm, si no saben, o sea, si no saben si a quién están enviando. Ajá, ajá, si el destinatario es masculino o femenino. Uh -huh. Básicamente lo que pueden hacer es esto. Dear, eh, por ejemplo, si es encargado, dear supervisor, digamos, supervisor. Entonces lo que hacen es que dicen el, el, um, el job, el, la posición, el, la cargo. Posición, el cargo. Thank you. I, my goodness, my Spanish is ugly today, sorry. Entonces, for me, it would be dear supervisor, ok, supervisor, ok, porque no sabemos si es eh, hombre o mujer, but, o puede ser dear teacher, but, por ejemplo, a mí, bueno, no saben si, bueno, casi siempre ¿verdad? tienen ahí mi nombre, pero a veces, no, hay un correo que tengo yo que no tiene, o sea, solo es un número, entonces solo me ponen dear teacher, y de ahí me empiezan a decir, ¿verdad? ok, so only dear teacher, porque no, no es como no tiene un sexo, vea, la, la posición. Dear manager, ok. Dear, dicen la posición, ok. If you don't know it, si no saben, pues, que si es sir o madame, ok. Uh, then, oh, something, 
it, that is missing here. Kind regards that I just remembers. Okay, regards. And yeah. Vaya, y los, las despedidas informales. Esto es contractado, regards, ok. Cheers, bye for now, see you soon. No sé si ustedes recuerdan otros saludos o, o despedidas en inglés que les, en nivel 1, me imagino que han visto algunas frases. See you later. Ok, see you later, thank you, mister. Pero formal, see you later. Y hasta pronto, ¿cómo se dice, Miss? See you soon. Aquí está. See you soon. Y see you later también. Hasta pronto. También podemos decir, bueno, eh, no sé si es formal o informal, te dije, eh, cualquier consulta, estoy a la orden. Saludos. Um, any, if any questions, de hecho yo lo escribo mucho también. If any questions, let me know. Let me know. Eso es muy formal. Si tienes alguna duda, me, me lo hace saber. Let me know. Ok. Any other one? My best wishes. My best wishes. Excelente. ¿Qué era lo que estaba anteriormente, verdad? My best wishes. Mis mejores deseos. Y después dicen, después de toda esa frase que deben de finalización, recuerden que deben de decir el nombre de quien envía, obviamente, right? O sea, quien está mandando este correo. Ok, the email. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Okay, la mano move on. Voy a continuar, okay? I'm gonna, voy a tomar una foto a esto y lo vamos a mandar ahí en el en el team, WhatsApp team, because you're going to need it later. Okay, teacher, thank okay. you. Okay, no problem. Okay, pero lo, ay, no borré la foto. <laughs> Give me one second. Solo quiero borrar estas las los los lines over here. Second, we don't need them. Okay, now let's go ahead. I think we have some more information. Okay, to start, um, bueno, para comenzar, igual les decía, yo sé, dear, y si sabemos el nombre de la persona, pues lo usamos, okay. Y si no lo sabemos, aquí dice que, pues obviamente les decía, Sir or madam, dear sir or madam. Y si no, ¿qué es lo que vamos a utilizar? Dear, dear what? Dear supervisor. Ajá, dear, dear super. Dear. Ajá, the position, why? The right? Position. Ajá, the job, the job or the occupation that they have, right? Excellent, very good. And then let's go with the next one. Uh, when you are asking for information, que, que es lo que hacemos en el primer párrafo. So, pedimos información. ¿Y cómo lo podemos hacer? Aquí están las frases, miren. I am interested in. I am writing to us. I would like to know or I would like to have. Could you send me the details or could you send me information on? Okay. These are some phrases that you can use. En el primer párrafo, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Como por ejemplo, ah, yo estoy... Vaya, lo que les decía, de aplicar en un trabajo, vea. I am interested in uh, applying for, a, for the job as a teacher, okay? Okay, that could be one. Or I am writing to ask you about the... I was going to say Aguinaldo, pero no. I was writing to ask you about the, the, why can we ask in a formal email? <laughs> ask you about um, 
the new project. Okay. We are new Aguinaldo. Uh, we are waiting for the Aguinaldo next week. <laughs> okay. I would like to know. I would like to know what uh, about um, the the day for start okay. Ah, the day of the vacation. No, can you imagine that? <laughs> I don't do that. I am. I, I don't like that. But yeah, if you do it, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> I don't do it with that. But if, yeah, you can do it. Okay. In the first paragraph, in the primer paragraph, recuerden que pueden utilizar esta frase. Solo debemos agregar algo más. Vea qué es lo que necesitamos. Question so far. Preguntas hasta el momento, porque recuerden que vamos a escribir uno en unos minutos. Okay. Okay, next one. And give me one second. In the second paragraph, what do you do? Uh, you are used to talk about yourself. Okay, in the second paragraph, a veces, a veces, porque, cuando, porque como estaban diciendo varios, ve que solo escribían un correo chiquito, pero a veces, usualmente, ustedes dicen, at the moment, I am. I have experience of, I have a diploma in. Eso es más que todo, como les decía, cuando estamos aplicando en un trabajo, okay? We can use these words. They are very helpful. Cuando son chiquitos, nos quedamos en el primer párrafo, si se fijaron, ¿verdad? porque básicamente pedimos, solicitamos algo, pues, por ejemplo, yo casi siempre digo, sin más preámbulos y pido lo que necesito, ¿verdad? So, we are direct, we are clear and direct. And to finish, an email. Y para finalizar un correo, uh, we can say thank you for your help. Thank you for your time. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to meeting you, okay? Podemos decir gracias por su ayuda, gracias por su tiempo. Eh, lo de que decimos de espero una respuesta pronta sería esta. I look forward to hearing from you. O, eh, I look forward to meeting with you. Sería, eh, espero nuestra reunión o la reunión, ¿verdad? Teacher, yes. y por ejemplo, de antemano, muchas gracias, ¿cómo sería? Sincerely, thank you. Es la frase anterior, sincerely. Ah, ok. Ajá. Este es ya finalizando, pero acá nos falta el closer, nos falta el close, que es la frase de, ¿se acuerda? De sincerely, kind regards, ¿ok? Después de eso va esto, mire, mire ¿qué es lo que, le, que usted me acaba de decir? Puede ser yours faithfully, if you know the name, después de yours faithfully, recuerden que vamos a poner aquí una coma y después escribimos el nombre, ¿verdad? O puede ser yours sincerely, coma, y después el nombre. ¿Ok? Bueno, que aquí dice que if you don't know the name, yo lo, yours sincerely. Y las otras frases, ¿cuáles eran? ¿Se recuerdan? Vamos a ver. My best witches. ¿Se acuerdan? My best witches. And then you say, for example, Rosemary Alvarado. ¿Otra manera para terminar? Thank you so much. No, sé si no, 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 no. No, yo les pasé unas frases ahí. No, hay unas frases exactas para terminar. ¿Qué les mandé? Best les... regards. ¿Ah? Best regards. Best regards. Very good. Kind regards. Es otro. Y después el nombre. Best regards. Y después el nombre. Ok. Any other one? Do you remember? Yours truly. Okay. Yours truly. Y el nombre. Sí, yo son. Ajá. Sí, pero ese es para informal, vea. Ajá. Ese es para formal. Ajá. Very good. Sí, Yours pero... sincerely. Ajá. Just... Aquí está, Mr. Yours sincerely. And if, if, if any question, ah, if, any, if any questions, let me know. 
Ok. Y aquí no vamos a escribir nombre, ¿verdad? Ok. And now, let's go ahead and continue. Vamos a continuar. Ok, now let's go to the eh, manual one more time. Ahora vamos al manual una vez más, ok. And in here in the manual we have a little bit of practice, ok. Uh, it was about the practice of questions. Wait, wait a second. Eso era acerca de los emails. Can you help me to read, uh, please? Uh, Karen Perez and Jorge Luis. Can you help me to read, please? Karen, you're Amanda, and okay. Jorge Luis, and R. Luis. <laughs> It's Luis, sorry. Uh, go. Do you often see email? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use it abbrevi abbreviations. Abbreviations? Abbreviation. Abbreviation in business email. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more, more this to write effective email? Yeah, yeah, sure. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now, and so here we have, I think this is, as we have like, uh, I'm going to send you these links. Le voy a mandar esos links because they are for writing an effective Effective uh, email, ok, porque son para escribir este. Ay, pero no, no sé si me va. Wait a second. Give me one tiny little second, please. It doesn't work. I wanted to give you some more tips, but I think those are old. No. It doesn't work that one. Mm. Okay, so here I'm gonna send you this because as you can see here, you have some more um, greetings, okay? Aquí tenemos algunas frases que podemos utilizar para iniciar eh, un correo. Y miren, aquí está lo que decía el mister, por ejemplo, dear sir or madame, to who it might concern, que significa quien interesa, significa van a escribirlo en inglés, to who it might concern, a quien interesa. Dear Mr. or Mrs. Jones, dear Dr. Smith, right? La razón para, por la cual estás escribiendo el correo, puedes empezar así, mire, I am writing to make a reservation, I am writing to apply for the position of, I am writing to confirm my booking, digamos, vea que sea para esto. For making a request, para hacer una solicitud, recuerden que eran con el could, vea. Could you please let me know? Could you please arrange a meeting? Okay. I would like to know. Le voy a mandar estas frases. I'm going to send you this link so you have it as a helper. And I don't know if we can use the other one. Just give me one second. No. Okay. In the next one. In the next practice that we have over there, it says the steps to write a formal email. Aquí tenemos unos steps to write a formal email. And you have to tell me um, which one is the formal and which one is the informal, okay? Me van a decir cuáles son las formal phrases and informal phrases, okay? So uh, the first one, it says, fill in the subject line with the topic relevant to your Recipient and not just document or important. Ustedes creen que en la línea de subject tiene que ir un tema relevante, como no solo debe de decir document or important. What do you think? Is formal or informal? Informal. Informal. Formal is formal. It's formal, right? What about number two? Can you help me to read the sentences, please? Ana Marleni, number two. Number two, number two. Number two, number two. Number two. Yes, teacher. Can you help me to read number two? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. Include. That's correct. Include. 
Uh -huh. a, include a polite salutation. A polite salutation. A, a sería that, teacher. A example. Oh. A example. Uh -huh. Dear Mr. Dear Mrs. Good morning, etc. Exactly, thank you, etc. Number three, help me to read this, Rodrigo. Okay. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Sentence. Exactly. Number four, después vamos a calificar, a clasificar, sorry. Eh, Christian? Claudia? Okay. Uh, don't use all capital or a lower. Uh, sería que. Case, case, case letter. Ajá. Que es lo mismo que es. Yes. Ajá. Case letter or lower letter. Se refiere a la minúscula, ok? Y a la, for, a la ah, okay. mayúscula se refiere a capital. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Thank you. Clelia. Case number, letter. Mm -hmm, case letter. Clelia, number four. Number five, sorry. Clelia, are you there? Okay, David. Okay. 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 Um, avoid abbreviation. Uh, it, that key, that P, uh, D, please. Uh -huh. Es que ese P, L, Z, P, O, S, Z, significa please, uh -huh. abreviado. Entonces, no, right. Number six, help mm -hmm. me to read, please, David. Be polite, remember to write, please, and thank you. Very good. Seven, help me please, uh, Diana. Be brave if brief. you're missing. Brief. If you're missing is too long, consider using attachment. At, 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 ¿Cómo se dice? An attachment. And, repeat please, miss. And, and attachment. And, and Wait, attachment. Sí, pero me miss que se me move. I don't know where, uh -huh. thank you. Number eight, help me, Jenny. Use closing, use a closing phrase like best rigors. Mm -hmm. rigors, rigors. Regards, if regards. Looking forward to your comments, etc. Etc. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Luis, number nine, please. Add a signature block which appropriate con contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Very good. Number 10. And the last one. Hey, help me, Julio. Edit the profile before you send the message. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so very, very good. Okay, so uh, these are some tips, right? But some are for informal and some are informal. So for example, number two, it's formal or informal, everybody? Formal. Uh-huh, formal. formal. Number, oh, sorry. Number three. Formal. Formal, exactly. ¿Por qué? Porque abrimos un correo con una frase de, de apertura, ¿verdad? No solo empezamos, hey, hello, Nike. No. Tenemos que abrir un, después de eso de dear mister, tenemos una frase. Number four. Formal o informal? Informal. Informal. Okay, number five. Informal. Informal. Uh -huh, Informal. Informal. Pero aquí dice avoid, evita. Entonces, uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Entonces, formal. Es formal, exactly. Este es informal, ok. Eh, six, formal o informal? Formal. 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 Polite. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Seven, be brief. Formal. Informal. Uh, it's informal o formal? Hmm. Formal. It's formal. Number eight. Use closing phrases like best regards, regards, formal or informal. Uh -huh. formal. It's formal. formal. Very good. Number nine. As, add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Formal or informal? Formal. Formal. And the last one, edit a proofread before you send the message. Esto, proofread es como van a, a volver a leer el correo para ver si no tiene algún error gramatical. Okay, so it's formal or informal? Formal. Formal, perfect. Thank you. Question so far, preguntas al momento? No questions. Because right now, here we have some examples, okay? So we have two uh, emails, as you can see. Can you help me to read, please, the email number one? Miss uh, Madeline, can you help me to read the first one, please? This one. The first email. Solo el contenido. Uh, everything, please. Uh, remember, we have to. Uh, remember, we have to prepare. To prepare every, everything. For everything for the event. Please do, don't forget to. The things. Thing. Uh -huh. Is that formal or informal, Miss? Formal. Formal. Okay. What about the other one? Can you help me to read, please, the next one, Mr. Nilton? Wait, sorry. Okay. This one. Todo lo del cuadro. Yes, please. This the que lo envía. Yes, just the email, just this. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Okay, so now that we have read both of the emails, okay, I have a question for you. Which one is formal? Peter or Robert's emails? What is it? Formal. No, informal. Two emails. Informal. No. Formal. Which one? ¿Cuál, Mr. Arqueta? ¿Cuál? Yes, I two think is formal. We have to two. pay everything for the event. Please don't forget the thing. Entonces, este es formal. In, informal. It's, Ajá, es informal. ¿Por qué es informal? See you. Ajá, uh -huh, miren esto, you. esto, ve, see you. Eh, es solo directions, right? And this one, Robert? Formal. It's formal. Very good, okay? So, as you can yes. see, yeah? See you es como nos vemos. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, but it's contracted. Sí, pero es contractado, es como sí. You, pero cuando es abbreviation, se le sería así. Sí, you. De hecho, okay. yo, le, yo le he visto así, solo con las, así. <ríe> así también. <ríe> sí, sí, lo he visto. He visto otras palabras y yo me quedo, what is that? Oh my goodness. Porque utilizan bastante abbreviation. Americans, basically, they use it a lot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, what are we going to do right now? 
We are going to write an email. Ahora sí, vamos a escribir un email. Y miren, no tenemos que hacerlo tan grande. Como pueden ver por acá, pues miren, son super small. Super small. Y aunque sean formal, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's, this one is informal and this is formal. Entonces, así, básicamente quiero que hagamos uno. Vamos a escribir uno ahorita. Ok. And um, we are going to write it and you are going to send it to me, to my email. Ok, I'm going to give you my email. Yo le voy a dar mi correo para que así y lo envíen a mi correo. Ok. Just small details. Or maybe we can only take a picture. <laughs> Pero quiero que le escriban el to, el to que significa para, ok, el sí, sí, que es con copia, y el subject, right, que sería el tema del cual ustedes están, por el cual están enviando el, el correo, ¿verdad? So, um, we are going to do this. Please try to use all of the phrases that I just gave you. Vamos a tratar de utilizar todas las frases que les acabo de mostrar en la presentación, ok, yes. And for this, I'm going to give you 10 minutes, okay, 10 minutes, because I know it's a little bit hard to write a, an email, so we are going to do it in your notebook, write it down, en su cuaderno lo van a escribir, y después le toman una foto y la mandan en WhatsApp. Okay, so let's try it right now. You are going to have 10 minutes to write it. Remember to write to, con copia, and the subject, okay? The same as you had in the, in the manual, así. Ah, y tienen que escribir un tema, ¿verdad? No sé de qué quieren preguntarme, porque voy a ser su boss, ¿verdad? Right Yo voy a ser su, su jefe ahorita, entonces tienen que... You have to think about one, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, let's try to do it, please. If you have any questions, let me know. Si tienen alguna duda, ustedes me avisan, ¿ok? And I will, I will be here to help you. So let's work. Recuerden que están pidiendo algo súper fácil, ¿ok? You don't have to make it that hard. Teacher. Yes. Dijo que iba a enviar su correo. No, no. mister. Le dije que lo hicieran en el cuaderno mejor porque es más fácil. Porque si no me va a llenar el correo. No, no, no. Solo la, para poner su dirección. Oh, sure, mister. Yeah, that's perfect. Ahorita se los envío aquí en el chat. Ahí también recuerden que en el chat, de, en el chat box de Zoom tienen una página en la cual pueden ver otras frases si ustedes desean. Ok. Sí. Ok. Uh, right now, este, este vamos a utilizar.
Three more minutes. So you can send the email. Okay, remember. Well, not the email exactly, right? You're remember you're going to take a picture of your notebook and send it in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Wow, Carlos. Pero, what is the finish line? ¿Cuál sería el, la, la frase de, de finalización de cortesía y no saludo? No hay saludo, it's informal. But for me, it has to be formal. We have to add something else. No falta ahí, mister. Recuerden, tienen que unir una frase de eh, bienvenida. Eh, de decir quiénes son también and una frase de finalización ok le voy a poner el, el que teníamos anteriormente better because that one is not that formal ese no es tan formal estaba más bonito el otro que les mostré yo el mío I love it este ese no está tan formal O las frases mejor. Estas son las frases that you can use. Excellent, mister. Now we're talking, Carlos Miguel. Excellent. That was perfect. Thank you.
Mm. Ah, Miss María Yamilet. Very good. <laughs> $100. <laughs> no, Miss. I'm going to give you $1,000 because you need. <laughs> Miss María Yamilet. The dinner. Yeah, for the, the dinner. dinner. For, for, yeah, for, for the new year party, me. Yes. The, okay, for the new years, new years, and also for the Christmas party, Christmas, Christmas party and New Year's. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, Miss. Very good. Excellent, Miss Clelia. Very good. I love it. Very good. Very good, Mr. David. I love it. But cheers, es que es cheers o sincerely, Miss, Miss Marlin. Uno de los dos, es que si dices cheers, y también lo escribió alguien más. Miss María Gemile, si dicen cheers, es como oh, saluditos, ok. Es, y si dicen también sincerely, es un, uh, no, ok. No possible. So, cam, eh, quitemos ahí cheers, Miss, solo sincerely, Marlin García. Es coma. Coma, mis. Y también, de, también después de good morning. Siempre tiene que ir una coma. Julio César. Yours sincerely. Very good, mister. Let's go, Mr. Serafin. Very good, Mr. Serafin, thank you. <laughs> Con copia <laughs> to the president, Mr. Lo más formal posible. <laughs> okay. Yes, very good, Mister. Excellent job. Very good, Mister Jorge Luis. Very good. I'm sorry, I'm a person laugh. It's it's a horror. Very good, Miss Stefania. Yes, very good, Miss Karen. Excellent. Okay, wow, you have done an incredible job so far. Very good, muy buenos emails, I love them. Wow. Ok, 
Okay, I'm just waiting for some of you, but be, while we wait, mientras esperamos, we are going to, just give me one second, we are going to do a tenant section. Vamos a hacer sección de asistencia, okay? Just give me a second. Please say presente, okay? Give me one second. Okay, Adriana Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Ana Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Luz. Present teacher. Carlos Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Christian Alexander. Claudia Maria. Teacher. Yes. Present teacher. Ah, okay, Mr. Claudia Maria. Miss Claudia, yo la vi por ahí. No, no está. Okay, Clelia, Estela. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Present. Ah, thank you, Miss. No problem. <laughs> okay, I have you. Okay, Diana. Wait, Diana. Present. Okay, Diana. Y después Edwin, Roberto. Edwin Roberto, you say, oyente por a momentos. <laughs> okay, Jenny Carolina. Okay, Mr. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Luis. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio Cesar. Present. Karen Estefania. Present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Ro Rush Rafika. Present teacher. Thank you. Serafín Constanza. Present miss. Thank you. Maria Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Oh, yes, I see. Hey, thank you, Miss. Okay, se escucha como robot. But yeah, you are here. I can see you. Uh, Ana Verónica. Marlene Oneida. Juan Ezequiel. Marlene Oneida, estás por ahí. Thank you, Juan Ezequiel. Sí, teacher, se me fue el internet. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Miss. Okay, very good. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Uh, wait. Just finish write, reading your, your emails. So let's start reading those emails. Thank you, Mr. Nilton. Very good. No, me, Rebecca. <laughs> okay, very good. Claudia. To Robert? ¿Y quién es Robert? Si yo soy mi salvarado, ¿por qué le pusiste Robert? Miss Claudia. Si era para mí el email. Perdón, Miss. <laughs> Don't worry. Así pasa, teacher. A uno le caen correos que no son para uno. <laughs> what? Where? Son correos equivocados. <laughs> It's spam. It's spam. Y yo lo abrí, <laughs> mister. Se me va a llenar de virus. <laughs> ¿No les ha pasado eso? Que... No, eso gracias a Dios no me ha pasado a mí, pero ahí a veces sí. <laughs> Lo que pasa a mí es que no comprendí la parte donde, uh -huh. donde bueno, no escuché, perdón, que la, era para usted, lo siento. Yes, it was estuve for buscando, me. Estuve buscando un nombre, pero luego dije, voy a poner Robert. No problem. 
Very good, Miss Jennings. Pero falta la palabra de despedida de su nombre, Miss Jennings. Solo, por ejemplo, tendría que ser sincerely or truly yours, kind regards. Okay. Very good, Miss Blanca. Porque si yo son, pero ¿quién? Recuerden que al final de su correo, pues deben de poner el nombre. Si yo sé que en, tal vez en el correo, en su correo está ¿verdad? su nombre, pero es importante al finalizar, ¿verdad? poner atentamente y su nombre. ¿verdad? So we have to do it in English. Tenemos que hacerlo en English too. Very good, Mr. Carlos, I think. Okay, so do we have any questions so far or no questions? Okay, now what are we going to do right now? So I am going to send you, okay, a link in which we are going to practice one last time the email section, okay? Le voy a mandar una hoja de trabajo. Bueno, se las voy a mostrar. Esa es una hoja de trabajo. And so, what are you going to do here? Give me, make it closer. Okay, so this is a, uh, well, this is an informal email, okay? Because we already practiced formal, ya practicamos el formal, entonces ahora vamos a practicar un poco acerca de informal emails, okay? So how do you do it? So here we have writing an informal email. So email, sorry. Aquí tienen todas las frases, miren, ¿y qué es lo que van a hacer? Eh, I'm going to put you in pairs, lo voy a poner en parejas y ustedes van a ir trasladando a dónde creen que va cada frase, ok, each phrase de las que ven por acá. Y aquí miren, aquí está todo lo que deben de colocar. Y cuando terminen, pues recuerden que debemos, ah, so wait, sorry, en the text, task number two, yeah, y acá en la task number two van a escribir ustedes un correo y pueden escribir el que me acaban de en, pueden mandar la foto, ok y después le dan clic en terminado ok yes yes you're going to do it in pairs esto si sí lo van a hacer en parejas, ok so that, that's perfect just give me one second this will be like the last one just give me one second ok Think so. Wait. Carmen, are you Carmen Guadalupe? Estás como oyente, Miss, or no? Juan Ezequiel, estás como oyente, tú? Porque si están como oyente, I have to move you. Wait a second. Okay, I'm going to open, you're going to have, oh, I'm going to send you the link, let's envío the link for ahorita, and it worked, okay, so uh, let's go open the rooms, that's like the invitation, everybody, you will have five minutes, five minutes to work on this, okay. Teacher, se me perdió la cosita para darle unirme. Okay, just give me one second, I'm going to do it one more time. David, oh, here. Thank you. No problem. Teacher. Yes. Me sacó el, el internet y volví a entrar, creo que por eso no me ha asignado. Ok, pero aquí no, de aquí parece asignada, Miss. Te voy a volver a reasignar. Give me one second. Yes. Hi, teacher. 
el link no. lo mandó a WhatsApp o cómo? No, lo envié aquí en Zoom. Aquí se los vuelvo a reenviar. Give me one second. Sí, porque yo estoy con el teléfono y no puedo ver. What about now? Mira si te sale. ¿O no? No. Ok, ahorita, mira ahí. Hoy sí. Ok, sí, sí, lo voy a mandar en WhatsApp también. Give me one second. Por favor, sí. En WhatsApp es el mejor. Yeah, definitely. Wait a second. Comparto pantalla, chicos. Sí, por favor. No. Permítanme. Logro entrar. Hello, mister. Me, usted me, me llamó, viste, pero estaba. Es que no llevamos el link, teacher, pero ya lo, ya lo pasó Karen. Ok, mister, no problem then. Thank you. I also send it on WhatsApp. Pueden ver la pantalla. No, mis. Teacher. Yes. Estamos revisando si es el link correcto el que nos mandó. No ese sé. es. Ese es. Este. Ya, yeah, you're fine. Ok. Entonces, tiene más para abajo ahí, Carlos. Yo no ve. Aquí, es, teacher. Más abajo, mister. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ay, me cuesta ver porque estoy con teléfono. Este para... Uh, will as I be got a few spare minutes? So between sería el text in black, poor because eh, be, sería ask is... the information, la, informa la información. Uh -huh. Okay. They. And see you soon. Ajá, que sería el, el último. Ajá. El DC. Ok. Teacher. Finish. <laughs> But the other Finish. one is there. That's number two. Hay otro. Ok. That one, you okay. have to write it. Ok. It is uh, a writing, are we, are we, yes? It's your information. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know what it Solding a Robert Jimé. From Nilton. Okay, Punto At Vasquez. At gmail. At night dot, dot com. Dot com, correct. <laughs> okay. Uh, to Karuma. <laughs> At nice dot com. Karuma, okay. Carlos Sumaña. Carlos Sumaña, sí, sí. At Date. night. Date. Today. 7 December 2022 Okay Se me Se me 
me saca de la, de la reunión. Aquí, ¿verdad? La siguiente es... El siguiente. Next. Este sería... Is the how are you? Sí. <risa> Vaya, sí. <risa> Vaya, eh, sí. Quedó. Vaya. Vaya. Ahora aquí. Ah, aquí ah, vamos a escribir el correo. Ahí vamos a poner lo que hicimos nosotros. Vale. ¿Cómo era el correo de la teacher? Es Liz, Liz 746 arroba gmail.com arroba gmail.com Ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Sigue. No, es el correo de ella va abajo, ¿verdad? Ay, sí, como había tapado las letras por eso. Ah. Para hacerlo grande, para que viera bien. Aquí sería. Este sería formal. Pienso, yo creo que ahorita entró la Miss. Sí, ah, está Diana con nosotros también. Y Carmen. Ya. Yeah. Yes, I do have many because some of you had a problem. Es que lo que pasa es que estaba Miss Carmen de oyente. Aquí aparece como oyente, entonces yo por eso la agregué acá. Ah, ok. Sí, Ajá, y de inicial estaba sola en otro grupo, entonces por eso la agregué acá. Porque okay. todos ah, okay. tienen, ajá, so de repente right. vio mucha gente. No, sí, yo no me había salido en el entrenamiento. Better, because you have help. Mejor porque tienen ayuda. Uh, <risa> Miss, es que este, tenemos la duda. Aprovechando. Yeah. <risa> este, ya enviamos una parte, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. yes, Entonces, ahorita en la pantalla uh -huh. en la que estamos ahorita, tenemos que, nosotros tenemos que elaborar un email yes. eh, informal. En, yes, pero es sin, pueden, les dije que podrían utilizar el que me enviaron, nada más que lo hacen ah, un poquito, okay. ajá, so you can use the same, uno de los que vea, ya. Yeah. Ah, ok, perfecto, okay. entonces, mis, okay, bueno, thank you. gracias. No problem. Vaya, vale. <risa> vale, entonces podemos hacer el que, bueno, alguno de nosotros envió, pienso yo. Ajá, yo creo que así va, Julio. Creo que así va a quedar. Creo okay, que sí. Yes, Miss. Es correcto como lo han colocado ahí. Um, que me sí. Yes. That's correcto. That's correct. But you have down, go down, Miss. Oh, Mister, no sé qué Bajalo. tiene. Es. Ajá. Yo. Go down, down, go down, Bajalo. Miss. Bájalo. Ajá, go, go down. Ajá, vaya, se baja. Ahí está otro, Mister. Ahí está otro. Pero ese correo, Ajá. miren, ahí dice que se lo tienen que escribir. Denle un poquito para arriba a alguien. Ahí dice a alguien, porque no se han fijado los demás. Ahí dice. Oh, teacher. Es Salim. Ajá. Ah, Ajá. You have to write an email for him. Ok. Eh, ok. About what? About. You know what? Better write the email that I, you sent me. Escriban en el email el que me enviaron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same. Please. That's ok. okay. Porque, no, porque okay. es almost time. Ya casi va a ser hora. So we do it faster. Okay. Okay. Sí, sí. Ajá. Y ahí sería como. Prepare for activity today. Aquí today va unido. Today. 
Ajá. Ahí Sí. podría ser como no comprendo exercise, Pero no comprendo, ajá. exercise page number 21, por ejemplo. Pero, pero no comprendo. ¿Cómo se Sería. escribe pero? Ah, aquí está la teacher. Yes. Pero, la palabra pero, pero no comprendo. Eh, sería, I don't not, I don't, I not understand. Sería, ¿verdad? I No, don't, you. I, I don't understand. Unders, I don't understand, pero, y quiero decir, pero no comprendo. Ay, bueno, ese sería como un conector, pero que, ¿verdad que sería correcto solamente escribir que tengo un problema o no sé? I have a problem. So, it says, say, you send me your part of the record. No, pero la, la, sería como la, el conector, pero que te en Ah, but. eso. Eh. Ajá. Ah, but, Ajá, but, but. Carlos. Ajá. But I don't understand. Okay, but. Pero ahí estaría escribiendo que... Ajá, correcto, no comprendo. I don't understand. No. The second. This exercise. Así. Ya. Yeah. El ejercicio número dos. De... Podría ser from the book Matt, Matt, del libro de matemáticas. From the book. The book Matt. Yes. Ok. Y... ¿Qué más dice el B4? Um, before, before. Creo que estaría bien. Hi, Miss. Hi, welcome back. Just wait a second. Me sacó, de, me sacó de, la, de la reunión, estaba con Clele y con María. Okay, no problem. That's okay. They are coming back. Ya van a regresar. It's almost time anyway, so don't worry. Ya habíamos terminado ya. Oh, perfect. Ok. Let's wait a few seconds. So they come back. And we... Sí, así acabo de ver las respuestas, Mr. Stewart. Okay, so I think everybody is here. Um, so right now we are going to, I just saw some of you, solo vi algunos que enviaron. Oh, thank you. Also, Serafín that I just sent it. Also sent it, Mr. Rodrigo. Miss, hello. I think Mr. Rodrigo, usted lo hizo solo, ¿verdad, Mr. Rodrigo? Ah, no, se salió otra vez el mister. Es que se le estaba fallando el internet. Mi Neida, Miss Jenny, thank you. Jorge Luis. Ah, ese fue el de ustedes ya. Yeah. Thank you. Les iba a decir que me enviaran hasta donde tenían. ¿Por qué? Porque en la sección número dos les iba a salir un poquito más. ¿Por qué? Porque este, pues no, 
tenía un remitente, un destinatario, and one uh, subjective. So, yes, until what you have, okay? Right now, we are going to do the practice for this, uh, this uh, homework, and it's homework 13, okay? And in here. So number one here we have include a polite oh a polite uh -huh, so mm -hmm. include a, a polite salutation mm -hmm. it's a formal or informal formal formal, formal. In, okay what about use of abbreviations Example, thanks. Informal. 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 Number three, it did and proofread before you send the message. Mm -hmm. When you formal. do that, formal. Uh, formal. And number four, add a signature block with appropriate content information. What is that? Formal or informal? Formal. Formal. And use all the capital letters. Informal. Informal. Okay, let's see. Let's enviar. Very good, excellent job. So we have 20 points as well. If this is, as you can see, it was very simple, okay? Very easy, okay? And there we have it. Um, so formal, informal, formal, formal, and informal. So uh, use all capital letters. Oh, yes, so like, thanks, right? Like, please. And yes, so that was it for this section. Do we have any questions so far? No question. Okay, so this was a little bit, I think you were super good with the writing in the emails. Muy bien con los escribiendo los correos informales y formales. You were perfect. Recuerden que los, como decíamos al principio, vean los correos, algunos cuando son rápidos, tienen que ser a small, brief, right? And when they are a little bit formal, they have to be a little bit long, right? So that will be all for today. And we are going to continue tomorrow. Okay, thank you for coming to the class. Gracias a todos por venir a clase y espero verlos mañana. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Take care. Good night. Bye, good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care.